So let's simplify some logarithm problems. So I have all the properties over here to the right, so you can refer to them. Those are all the log, most important log properties that you'll have. So when you have log base 4 of 8, they mean simplify. They're basically saying, what is that equal? So what you could think of is, you could think of this being y, and then you're trying to solve for y, in which case you would use this property right here, that first one, and you can just rewrite it, 4 to the y equals 8. <clears throat> and then you can ask yourself, well, what can I do with 4? Well, it's not squared, right? It's not to the third. It's going to be to some fractional power. Mm -hmm. And one th little trick that you'll recognize is when they have the same base. See how 4 is base 2? And 8 is also base 2. So you want to convert them to the same base. So this is 2 squared to the y, and 8 to the third is 2 cubed. Yeah. And then you have to also remember your properties of exponents. What do I do when I raise a power to a power? Let me write that down here. If you're raising u to the um, m raised to the or a to the m raised to the m is equal to the a to the m n, you multiply them together. So this means that two to the two y equals three. Sorry, not three. Two to the two y equals two to the third. And then what can I do to find out what y equals? Set the exponents equal, and then you just solve that equation. Three halves. So, that tells so us you can like, so once you set the exponents equal to each other, you're just like kind of forgetting about the big two. Mm -hmm. Because kind of what you're doing here, you could also formally, you could just take the log base two of both sides, and taking the log base two, if you use this property, right here, mm -hmm. the exponents come down to the front. And another property that you had, which I can add in here, is that the log base b of b is always 1, because that just means b to what power equals b. Another one that you'll use a lot is the log base b of 1 equals 0. Those are a couple more properties that you may use, along with those ones at the top. So you could think of it like that, or you could just use, I call it the duh property. If 2 to 1 power equals 2 to another power, those two powers have to be equal to each other. Which is what I have right here. 2 to the 2y equals 2 to the third means that 2 to the 2y equals 3. Or if technically, if you want to do something technically, you would have to take the logarithm of both sides, which is what I did there in the red. Taking the log base 2 of both sides allows you to either way works. So what you could think of it as this equals 2y times log base 2 of 2 equals 3 times log base 2 of 2. That would be showing your work thoroughly. And what does log base 2 of 2 equal? It equals 1. So that's gone, that's gone, and you just get 2y equals 3. You don't have to do that though. You can just go straight from here, straight from here to there because the teacher will know that it's, in, it's correct what you're doing. Yeah. 